So Dean, I just got served with a notice of civil claim for $100,000 and the process server came to my house, gave me these documents and I have absolutely no idea what to do next. Okay, Alistair, what's well, a good question, it's a very common question as well. Because you've already determined what it is, I can tell you know a little bit about this. You've already said it's a notice of civil claim. So the first thing is people want to uh, have a look at it and then at usually at the top of the legal documents it'll say what it is, what court it's in, uh, what level of court it's in. It could be a BC document, I'm assuming you're talking about because we're both in British Columbia. It could be an Alberta document, it could be um, provincial court, which is what we call small claims court, but you've already identified it, you know what it is. Um, for people out there, you know, you might not make those assumptions, but you can certainly find out what the top of the document refers to. You can Google that, figure it out. But let's say, notice a civil claim. You also mentioned it was like being sued for a hundred to hundred fifty thousand dollars. So the first thing is on the claim, it'll say what court it's in. It'll say the person suing. That's called the plaintiffs. Then I'll call the defendants, and that's probably where you saw your name in, in this situation, this hypothetical situation. Um, when you see that, that could be a whole bunch of people. If you're listed on there, you have to deal with this. Um, there's multiple different time frames you have to deal with it, uh, depending on where you are located. So if you're in BC, you've got to respond to it within 21 days of receiving it. Not 21 days that it's filed. You'll see a little stamp on the corner usually. That's when the court saw it, gave it a stamp, that person filed it. That has really nothing to do with the amount of days you have to serve it. It's the day that it's in your hands, and in our province, it has to be personal service. So someone has to use it a personal server. That's common. Sometimes someone will serve it themselves. That's common. But that's when the clock starts, and you've got 21 days to respond to it. Um, very important that you respond to it within those days. If you're in the United States, it's a different amount of days. If you're overseas, it's different days. But at a minimum, it's 21 days, assuming it's a lawsuit, not petition or application. Or right. that. We can talk about that some other So how do I respond to it? So, well, you, you want to make sure, first of all, it's you, right? Uh, there has been mistakes. We've had files where, you know, sometimes numbered companies, somebody gets the number wrong. Right. Uh, it's not you, so don't worry about that mm. in the first instance. So make sure it's you. Um, we've had also cases where, oh, they put, like in your case, maybe two Gs, or my name's last name's Davison. They say Davidson, it's very common. Right. You don't really want to mess around with that. You still want to respond to it because you have to imagine if the other party did what's called a default judgment. Mm. We can talk about that quickly, but yeah. if the other party did default judgment and you show up in court and said, hey, they got a double sec wrong D or wrong G and the judge says, is that you? You say, well, yeah, it was me. Are you mm. the person in this? And you'd have to say, yeah, that is me. The judge would say, well, that's not good enough. Right. That's disrespectful to the court and to the rules. And guess what you lose. Mm. So to answer your question, I would suggest, uh, no matter what the claim's about, right or wrong, you think it's a slam dunk, you're gonna win, you think the person's lying, whatever the case is, you probably should go see a lawyer. Right. Um, what you do when you go see that lawyer, or what kind of lawyer, when you go see that lawyer, those are more fact specific. But the first thing you should do is probably reach out to a lawyer. 